We are going to enjoy a summer staple right now, but probably not the way you're used to, right? No. A little bit different. We're going to take it up to the mm -hmm. next level. And Chef Timothy uh, Rattray from the Granary is here to tell us about, well, not only some recent changes, but also his... Look at how... Ooh, ah, that, that <laughs> picture right there. It's like, I can't wait to try this one. So anyway, welcome. Thank yes. you. Thanks for having me. All okay. right, let's talk about some of the changes there at the Granary. Sure. So uh, we turned seven this year. Uh, the first six years, we were beer and wine only. So in January, we added a full liquor bar Woo! to our lineup. <laughs> Was that out loud? <laughs> Woo! Steady. Sorry. We've got uh, all sorts of liquor, uh, focusing on rum and mezcal in particular. Um, and then we also rolled out brunch on weekends. So Saturday, Sunday, you can come to the Granary from 1030 to 3 and enjoy our brunch menu. It has things like uh, buttermilk pancakes, uh, pastrami hash, mm. and we also do a Bloody Mary. We make our own house mix with smoked tomatoes and barbecue drippings with mezcal, and uh, we garnish it with pickled celery and a grit fritter with uh, ham salt dusted on it. I just barbecue. hung on to your every word right there. Yeah. Barbecue <laughs> drippings. Barbecue drippings. In a blood. Wow, yeah. right? that sounds really good. All right. So super tasty stuff. Speaking of barbecue, yes. and we were talking dry versus wet. Mm -hmm. you we know, are. A lot There's... of people can be Hard polarizing. Fans. Yes, mm -hmm. about what they like. And you go for the dry. And what's in your yes. rub? So this is our granary all-purpose rub. So we have salt, pepper, some brown sugar, but also cinnamon, coffee, and cumin as well. And the brown sugar makes like a glaze. Yeah, right? it, it caramelizes a little bit while uh, while the uh, meat Ooh. is smoking on the pit. It's really good for oh, pork yeah. in particular. I know. I, know. I, know. This, this, Sorry, I had to like, smell it. Sorry. It's grabbed it's, it's, it out I of wanna, that shot. I want to make this into cinnamon rolls almost or something. <laughs> so, all right. So... If you were to do your tech, you know, how do you sure. do it? Yeah, so, uh, yep. so this is a St. Louis uh, cut of rib, and then we're just going to season this with our dry rub. And then you just want a good fire with nice smoke and, uh, you know, low and slow for three to five hours, depending huh. on the ribs. What is a St. Louis cut? I've never so a St. Louis before. cut is uh, if you're, if you're uh, familiar with full spare ribs, um, mm -hmm. those actually would come out longer right here. So the St. Louis has those rib tips cut off and squared. Okay. So that's the difference between a St. Louis and a full spare rib. Okay. There you go. And now, now you know. Now we know. Mm -hmm. You want to definitely massage that dry rub into the meat, hence, mm -hmm. hence the, the rub part. Do you mm -hmm. let it sit for a while to kind yeah. of... I don't think that's necessary. Marinate. Again, it's, uh, it's barbecue, so it's polarizing. So some people do actually like to let it their sit. meat sit overnight uh, or for a few hours after it's been rubbed. Mm -hmm. um, we do not do that. Okay. And you also have a new restaurant too, right? We do. Uh, Fontaine Southern Diner and Bar just opened two weeks ago. 30 second drive from the Granary uh, at Midtown Station. And we named it after my great aunt Fontaine. And it's all Southern food and uh, recipes from my family Woo! sometimes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Over, the, over generations. That's our fried bologna sandwich right there. We got um, Johnny Cakes. And then we also make our own bacon, and there's pimento cheese, deviled eggs. I didn't eggs. Know this. Difference between Johnny Cake and a pancake. Correct. Uh, cornmeal in Johnny Cakes. Uh, okay. Pancake would just be traditionally flour. Ah. Oh. So you get that okay. sweet corn flavor in the Johnny Cakes. Okay. And we got and, some sides here, of course. Of course. Sides here. Yeah, you can't have barbecue without some sides. So these are our house pickles that we make at the granary. A German-style potato salad that has some of our bacon and then a buttermilk coleslaw. Um, if you like sauce, there's some you can add. Oh, you some got the dance. Don't. It's so juicy. Got the dance. Yeah, you got the dance. <laughs> okay. That, well, that's big. We're, 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 we're having success. <laughs> because that helps to seal in the flavors by having, you know, with the, get that caramelized coating on there and everything, Absolutely. Right? Yep. Mm. Right? Nothing like a big, nice, juicy bite <laughs> of rib like this. Okay. And the granary, um, how, how long? I'm, I'm, I'm stumped <laughs> we here. Turn, we turn <laughs> seven, seven in no. November. Uh, you're open hours? Uh, mm. We open oh. at 1030 uh, to 3, Tuesday through Friday. Um, 10.30 to 3 on Saturday for brunch, and then we open 5 p.m. Uh, for dinner every night. All right. And, Closed of course, Mondays. brunch is now on the menu, right? Yes. Since you have liquor. Woohoo! Smoke inspired right. brunch. For more information on the Granary, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. That's just such a juicy rib. <laughs> mm. Awesome. Thank you. You just made my day. <laughs>